We are in Evergreen and it is pretty cold out here. The first thing we have to do is to remove the bolt. So we got the bolts out. Next thing is are these brackets. Now I'm gonna put this piece in, take the bracket. So this is how the bracket looks when it's on, look. Uh, we just have it in like very easily. This is a FJ meeting. So now we're gonna test fit the light bar kind of a C. Yeah, there's some flex you can Oh yeah, definitely. This is Kid, he's helping me today with the light bar. So yep. say hi so everybody. Let's get the hardware. This is cool, yeah, let's get it together. Okay, so the light bar comes with like little bushings like this, and then bunch of screws, and these brackets we're gonna replace with the ones we have over there. the ankle we have to kind of uh... yeah yeah it was the angle which was bad but uh, let's say I'm gonna what we have to do we're gonna, we're gonna mount this side bracket to the light bar first because otherwise it sits on the ankle and then it's hard to put it on so we do that as a first thing and then we put the bracket on yeah that looks awesome Okay, got the wire strip somewhere. We're gonna pull this this baby out a little bit, and we're gonna stick the wires right there. So let's do this. I'm gonna fish hook. We get some wire over here. Oh, there we go. I think we can do both because we have a pretty big hole in there. See, that's how you pull it off over here. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, we did a great job. Yep, this is better than I thought it was gonna be. And then we can put this nicely yep, back. I gotcha. Once we once we finish with yep. with everything. Nice. Oh my gosh. Now so see that's this is what we're gonna do right here. We're gonna wire back up and then and then we're gonna do connection over here. So yep. Back. I use this uh, wire bushing and give it a uh, give it a nice finished look. Now we're gonna slide it all the way up on that one. So we left about this much wire on the light bar, and then I uh, did the connectors over here on one side. So I'm gonna connect all these. Okay, we got the connection, wrapped it up. You, you have to wrap separately red wire and then black wire and then you wrap it together. And now we're gonna figure it out. The connections over here. Fill the screw and we find ourselves a hole over here. Yeah. So the 
light bar is on. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this ugly switch and we're gonna replace it with a different one. We prefer to use the, the Toyota style here. We can put it inside the cab. So first we have to realize, find out what goes to what here. And this relay here, there's four numbers on here. The top is 87, the left hand side is 86, this is 85, and this is 30. So if we take the original setting here, we can actually figure out where each one goes. As we can see from the switch that it came with, there's three wires. There's a white, blue, and a black wire. So the white wire currently is in number 85. The, the blue wire is number 30, which is your power. And then number 86 is your ground. So all we gotta do is basically is take the black wire we did on the switch here the black wire is your ground and that goes to the black from this, this wiring harness this wire here on the switch would not be used right now this would be used if you want to um, if you want to hook up like to your parking light so it would illuminate when it's on when it's uh, when your parking lights are on if not you won't use this wire and then this this next wire in the red one would be to the white wire here and then finally the green one will go to, to the blue color, yeah. That's the... Oh yeah, it just fell off here, the blue one. Yeah. So once you do that, uh, you can see it's plugged in now. Plug this back in. And it should work. You can see right now, let's turn it on and the light lights up and it works. Turn it on one more time. Woohoo! Now we're gonna run the wires through the firewall and then we're gonna connect the, yep. the switch. Yep, see, so you run this, you run the switch wire through the firewall right there, you see? So we're gonna use this part and pop this switch out over here and uh, use this. This is my front light bar, the small one. I like it there. And then we're gonna put the big one over here on that side. Okay, we got the switch wired. So as you can see, the light bar is lightening. And then you're just gonna pop this baby right in. And this is how it works. So we're all finished, the light bar is on. It's bright as hell. This is the one I had before. My goodness, it looks amazing. That's how you mount your roof light bar. I hope you like this video. I hope it's gonna be helpful to everybody. And uh, let's go to Moab. I'm filming all these, I almost forgot. <laughs> So, so everybody knows, the best Jeep part to fit on the Toyota FJ Cruiser is actually this part over here. That's what holds the leaf springs on the Jeep. <laughs>